this is the next part of the video in the previous video we saw how we can create the ci pipeline and how we can build and create the docker image where we change something in the repository how azure devops create the image and how it push into the content registry now we will utilize that content registry to deploy into the docker container and that should be automatic let's see so this was the version previously created let me create one more pipeline that would be the release pipeline create the new pipeline so we need an azure app service so select this one apply okay so that is our template we will use the azure app service we need we need to add the artifact so select the project select the project and select the source we will get the artifact from the ci pipeline that we had created this is the ci pipeline and uh, version let it be same latest source alias you can give this name let it be same and you can add it in the next section you need to add the job in the job you can rename the display name deploy deploy single run for soft connection type azure resource type so this is the artifact that would be deployed that's fine in then click on deploy single run info soft deploy pipeline in the task you need to select the subscription that is the service connection that we had created azure types we need to select the azure app four containers and linux and app service name so currently we don't have the app service so let's create the app service so in the app service create app service in the subscription select the resource group name whatever you want resource group name i have the rg1 group name i'll put the service name then publish here you need to select the docker container because we are deploying our application inside the docker container and uh, operating system let it be the linux and next docker we need to select the container registry name so you can select the container registry quota container registry and the name would be the singleton info so that is the content registry select the tag you can select the latest select the tag you can select the latest version then review and create so here get so here you can see this has been created now the service has been created so let's see service name yes i can see it here registry or namespace so for uh, so registry namespace what you have to put you have to take the namespace from here only if you go inside the container registry here take the login server name put the name and the repository name that we had created here here you can see the repository name like this is the repository name here we are deploying using this image we are picking this image from this namespace 
that's it so save it okay i can say create release release from if i say create release create it's a has been created inside the release pipeline if i go in the release i can say deploy deploy so it is in the queue now you can see the progress it may take few minutes depends on the size of the application so you can see deployment has been successful you can see the logs you can see the finalized job and you can see the previous tasks here it will provide the url you can copy this url and try to browse the url you will see welcome docker container so we successfully deployed now the question here we want to make it automatic so whenever a new build is created it should be deployed automatic so what you have to do go into the release in the release click on edit and select here in the artifact build docker container continuous deployment trigger yes so this is enabled now so whenever the new image appeared into the content registry this will be deployed so let's have it okay so now that setup has been done let's do one thing so here let me change something into the code in the source code i can put new and let me push into the repository commit i need to put deploy deployment new page i can put anything because i'm just committing inside the repository commit all i can say push so once i click on push button so here you can see successfully pushed to origin master and now go here inside the pipelines so now you can see this has been started continuous integration has been started it's reading the data from the github and uh, building the application and creating the image here inside you can see agent job check out the code has been done building the image now in the progress so once this image is created this will push this image to the content registry now build is completed so now we have the new image let's go into to the release what's happening here yeah here you can see that has been started automatic go inside it has been the queue you can see run on the agent you can you can see the progress run the in the progress so here you can see deploy singleton info soft so you can see that that has been done now let's replace the application here you can see a new keyword that we had added so therefore we successfully deployed the application using the ci cd pipeline so that is very easy steps i think you understood it so how without manual intervention we can build the application and we can push into the environment so currently we have one environment only so here it could be the staging in our environment dev you were tq at production so the important thing is here you can see the domain name should be the actual that we want like uh, i have the domain uh, that is singleton info soft i want to make this url instead of this url that is the 
sub domain of the azure websites in the next video we will see how we can create the dns to get the final output in this video we done this one in the next video i will show how we can create the dns so see you in the next video till then bye happy learning